Hi there, Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Got a quick uh, follow up video from last week where I started looking at um, messing around with the draft shader in SolidWorks to replicate a uh, isophote or an iso angle analysis shader. So since then, I've spent some time looking at uh, various bits of code and educated myself quite a bit. So I don't know if you saw last week, but I basically had a line that created each band on the um, on the shader. So I've figured out ways around that and to make it a bit more elegant. So I'll show you what it does now. So if you go draft analysis, it operates in the same way. Uh, pick a plane and open it up to 89 degrees. So again, I'm I'm uh, piggybacking this into the graft analysis gradual transition. If you don't use gradual transition, it's just the same, like normal uh, draft analysis. Okay, so I've got a narrow band here, and I've got a smooth step function to anti-alias the edge of the bands. These bands are still quite dependent on the the image quality, the mesh quality in SolidWorks. So what you see here, that's just the, the underlying mesh, but as you can see here, there's some um, crinkles, that's the actual my surfacing. Yeah. Okay, and you can turn adjustment, try it on, and move the um, bands around. Let's just try changing. Okay, so that's the conic control in the front there. And just for example, I'll just go and drop tangency on one of these boundaries and see what happens. Okay, so that's pretty obvious. It's not, that's just the positional um, connection there. It's not tangent anymore. Okay, I'll just run through this code quickly. So, there's a, I've got to fix the angle, so basically you have a ball, I've got a sample from the top of the ball to the bottom, so 180 degrees, so this makes it from 90 to 180, so we don't go into negative. Uh, and then I've got a, a multiplier here, which sets the amount of bands we have, so we multiply this angle at the top here. And then I used a fract function to only to create our bands and then I have a smooth step function here which creates the band blending and these numbers here if you imagine from 0 to 1 blending from positive draft colour which is driven by SolidWorks to negative draft colour uh, the blend here is driving it and I just have a slight 0.02 for the uh, actual blend on the edge. So if you made that number there lower, you'd get a softer edge. Uh, if you made it close to this, you end up with a harder edge. Uh, and say, say this was 0.1 and 0.2, and 0.8 and 0.9, you'd end up with a rather fat band. Okay, so. And like before, I've, I've still got to figure out a way to uh, get the get this code into um, SolidWorks without hijacking it into the draft analysis. Um, basically, you copy over the, the draft shader in the SolidWorks install directory, which I'll show you. Okay, so just basically copy over the draft.frag file. I'm only changing a little bit of the, uh, half the file. Problem with my current system is you need to have system administrator rights to, to copy over something in program files so yeah okay let's have a look at some other parts here so this lozenge button draft analysis the top okay that's going to show us band so
So you can check your surfaces. And you will notice if there is a there's a deviation. That's got maximum deviation 0.05. So if I was to look down this end, might see a disconnection. No, probably because of the blur on it. I haven't used this uh, in anger yet when I'm actually modelling something. It's a little bit of a side project, but I can see it would be useful for tweaking surfaces. Okay, let's have a look at something else. Have a look at that. Have a look at this one. So my next job is to try and make this an add-in or a macro or something which runs without you having to use draft analysis so it, it runs by itself. I've got quite a bit of learning to do there as far as how to do that. So it could be a wee, way, a wee while away. Okay, so there's a bit of mesh stuff going on there. Um, this is a surface model still. You can try just mixing this out. Nothing changes until you go back into the, the, the draft shader and accept it again. Uh, it's a bit smoother now. We'll turn our edges off. You can see some funny stuff going on there. So I think on that edge, there's some deviation there, but there's also on the surface um, some wobbles. This top surface here is just a boundary blend with curvature to face constraints uh, with no cross curve. So if I just adjust these curves. And see I've got a bit of flatness around the top here. A bit of wonkiness. So I think this is going to be useful. So I definitely think I'll I'll it, it's 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 worth looking at uh, making an add-in for it. Okay, so if I turn that draft analysis off and then turn on Zebra Stripe. I mean, you can see there that it's not perfect, but it really stands out when you've got a static, static analysis. Seems much easier to um, observe things that are wrong. I'll just show one more thing. I'm just going to load, um, swap this code over for uh, like some fatter stripes now. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I'm back. I was using this one here with 30 stripes. And the gradient was controlled here. Uh, this time I've got 15 stripes. And the band is a bit wider. Okay, so some bubble letters from a from an exercise in Rhino so I'd like to think these were fairly smooth so yeah, draft analysis and 89 degrees and then gradual transition So this is with the fatter bands and less of them. Seeing some mesh problems in here. 
it'd probably be fixed by upping the um, image quality. These are solids. So let's see what happens if we use the um, adjustment triad. sort of see what's happening here the, the crossbar on the a is flying around the corner but this looks like there's a bit of tucking in here I should put the zebra stripes on and have a look. Anyway, I should skip through this. Um, if anybody wants this code, just yell out. Or there it is there. So I've changed the section under else of gradual one, because that means gradual is activated. Uh, and then I've just sputtered this in and deleted the uh, code was there. I never used the gradual draft analysis. The nice thing about having it in the draft analysis is it's persistent so you can accept the uh, accept the draft analysis, leave it running in the background uh, and it applies to all bodies in the um, file, so anything that's on screen. Oh yeah look, okay so you can see I've got a uh, tangent connection there, something going on. hoping it was curvature continuous but I don't think it is uh, and let's just zebra stripes quickly oh yeah see the, the mesh isn't any good so it's not much point using zebra stripes I think zebra uses a different mesh from draft this is pretty pretty I know it's not like the, the actual surfaces are much cleaner than that so it's definitely the mesh um, being generated zebra stripes okay there's uh some pink bubble letters anyway i hope that's useful isophote or iso angle shader and solid works if you find it useful please subscribe to my channel if i have any updates on this with turning it into an add-on and something that's actually easy to use or easy to get into the program um without being admin then i will post an update all good Thanks very much, Andrew Jackson. See you.